Hello YouTube, my name is Abum and now in this time I will show you how to create a function to import or export Excel file into or from MySQL. This is I have a page to import Excel file. Okay, if I choose file, okay, before I do that, I show you about a table in database. This is I have a table and now empty here and okay if I go to web browser and choose a file and okay I try to load my project my excel file uh, here okay I have a csv excel file customers okay and if I open this file and import now I have a message okay and if I go to my database in table if I execute my table I have two values here and if I open my CSV file I have two okay like this okay now I close this and okay this is my database with value from Excel file and now if I choose a file again and import if I execute my table I have four okay like this and I have an export to a file export I type export okay here I have export mysql data into excel file and if you see here I have four values and now if I export my SQL into Excel file I have a file and I just download this and okay I show you in here I download in desktop and I have a file like this and maybe sample export okay maybe like this and save file and now if I open my CSV file I have four data from my database and here I have a number name a full name address and email okay maybe I just go to localhost to make a folder and okay uh, I close my Excel and now I go to my localhost if you use ZAM or WAM please create a folder to your localhost in WAM www and in ZAM it's ddoc okay in this case in my local host I create a folder in as a site and as a tutorial and I make a new folder maybe actual uh, underscore mysql underscore en okay I create a folder like this and open this and now I go to tech editor in this case I use sublime tech okay after I create a folder in my local host now I open my tech editor I use sublime tech 2 and you can download try Supreme Tech 2 
in Google search and you will show the link and don't do this okay now I create a new file and save to my project okay to my folder and here I open my folder and Excel MySQL EN and here I make a name index dot php okay just like this and save and I type html and now I have uh, this title and okay paste and here I need it one and paste again and now if I save my file and go to localhost okay and here I need underscore and underscore en okay now I have a title and it one okay next I need create a form okay here I need form and in form I need create action okay like this action and equal nothing because I need this bit to process the uh, file okay maybe like this and method I need pause and here I need ANC type because in this file I choose a file and processing uh, the file and I need ENC type okay like this and equal here multipart and forward slash like this and okay form and like this data okay I have a form and now I need to input to uh, to choose a file and submit button okay in first input I need a type like this equal and file and name I need maybe uh, Excel file Excel file okay and here I need array like this name and I need okay maybe like this and second input and type equal submit submit and name um, maybe ptn import okay maybe like this and closing and fill I need maybe import uh, data from Excel maybe like this okay now if I save my file go to web browser and reload I have choose file and if I click my file I have customer and you can choose the file but if I press my button there is no action okay here I need to maybe mm, copy the file or okay maybe 
I create a new CSV file. Okay, go to Microsoft Office and open uh, Excel, Microsoft Excel. Okay, here I need maybe name and full name. And here maybe address and here email. Okay, maybe like this and okay. I need name, full name, address, email, and here I need a name. Agus and full name. Agus Tinus and address uh, my city contain and here um, email a uh, goose at mail.com maybe like this and here I need maybe bambang and full name bambang and address copan and email bambang at mail.com okay this is my excel file and go to save i go to my folder in localhost project okay here and i save in csv This is CSV comma delimited. Okay, and I save maybe customer. Okay, maybe like this and save the file. And I have this message. Press OK and yes. Now I close my excel yes and okay go here replace yes and again yes and now i have a file and index okay and next video i will show you how to create a import function with php Okay, I hope you like my tutorial and please subscribe my YouTube channel and thanks for watching. Goodbye.